Hey guys, what's up? This is Jack Yuri from NoobTube. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I've never done a tutorial before, but uh, I thought this was needed because uh, a lot of people have this problem. Um, so I just purchased the uh, Blue Snowball and uh, I'm using Windows 7. And I didn't know that, you know, I didn't do my research basically that it wasn't compatible with Windows 7. So uh, I had to mess around and, and see what I could do to uh, make it work with Windows 7 and I saw some videos about making it work with Windows 8 but it wasn't really helpful so I made my own video I'm making my own video to uh, help you guys out so basically after you connect your blue snowball nothing's gonna happen <clears throat> there's no automatic drivers being installed nothing so and as you know uh, basically every device that you install or you connect to uh, your Windows 7 computer it should automatically start or, or there should be drivers for them um, and that's pretty much why your your uh, blue snowball isn't showing up anywhere because there's no drivers for it uh, I'm not sure why they didn't just you know input the driver to automatically install uh, onto your computer but yeah so that's why I'm making this video to help you guys out so basically just go to start uh, open up your control panel and uh, here uh, it should show up right here under hardware and sound I, I just go to view devices and printers and there you go. Your, your blue snowball will show up. Uh, when I I, I didn't even um, uninstall it. I'm using my blue snowball right now to talk to you guys. But uh, when I first did this, my blue snowball was uh, yellow. It wasn't green. It was yellow. And uh, for you for you guys, it might be different. You might have it something like this. You might have a little yellow triangle around it. But mine was yellow. Just a little dot. Um, yeah, and when I opened this up, it, it said that uh, it wasn't working or something like that. Okay, let's go back. So, at least it shows that, that the blue snowball is connected. Uh, it doesn't show that it's working, but it's connected. So, and then we go here, go to small icons. Here we want to go to device manager. Open that up. Okay. All right. So right here, uh, in other devices, this is where it showed up for me, and it had this little yellow triangle uh, exclamation mark saying it wasn't working or something was wrong with it. But it was up here above SM Bus Controller, and it said Blue Snowball. Uh, for you guys, it might be different. Uh, it might be somewhere else in another folder. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, for me it was in other devices. And uh, now, after I fixed it, it's here. Under sound, video, and game controllers, blue snowball. Now it works. The way I did that is when you find it, right click on it. You're going to right click on it. You know, just like you do with anything. You right click on it and then just update driver software. Now you are manually updating the driver yourself. You're manually installing it by clicking that. So all you do is click on it, then search automatically for updated driver software. After you click that, it'll find the driver for this online and install it for you. After that, your blue snowball should start working. It should show up here in, in, under sound video and game controllers right after it installs then you can look in properties and see that the device is working properly alright you could always go back here and update the driver or uninstall it if something's wrong and try reinstalling it again the same way <clears throat> by updating your driver so let me know if that helps you guys uh, let me know if it worked 
if there was any issues but it should work after you just install the driver all right guys all right later peace